We're in the waterfall place. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yes. Uh. Anything? No. Awkward. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Huh? Oh. Thanks, Sans. It's an onion. What's a snore? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a snore? Oh. That's... Wait, what? Do I have a black eye? Wow. Sans put, like, ink or something on my face. That's weird. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. No thanks. Well then, tell your friends there's ice cream hidden in the depths of a watery cavern. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Oh, that's impressive. Onion guy is weird. What's down here? Bum, 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 bum. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you wanted me. You told me you were wearing a bandana. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> you walk into Mold Small. Oh, these guys again. I can already spare them. Yay. What's this say? The power to take their souls is the power that the humans feared. Oh. Hi there! Now this you were here. I'm on this onion sand. Okay. Onion sand, you hear? Uh huh. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but. <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in the crowd of the quarry. Like all my friends did. Okay. And the aquarium's full. A anyway, so even if I wanted to, I that's okay though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm going to get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? That's nice. Hey, there. Th that's the end of this room. I'll, I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall. <laughs> Okay. That was... Okay. <laughs> Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Okay. 
You smile. You have to see Sharon smile too. Sharon gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Toot. Sharon hums very faintly. I will hum with her. You hum a funky tune. Sharon follows your melody. Oh. See 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 me see me. Ah. Great googly moogly. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, I can spare. Sweet. You won! Yay! The Northern Room Home's a great treasure. I like treasure. A haunting echo. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano. Sure. Okay, that was fun, I guess, but uh, I'll be going now. Boop, pop, boop, pop, ba, doop, pop, boop. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened, and now it never will. Okay. The statue. Okay. Please take one. Yeah. I'm gonna go give it to that statue. Okay, it was drippy. Put the umbrella in the statue? Yeah. It's the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Music continues and doesn't stop. Okay. That's rather adorable. <coughs> but um but um hi monster kid. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Yeah, come on, monster kid. You're my friend. You are my best friend, the canteen, whatever be talking down, hold it on. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to fight Undyne soon? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Monster Kid, what are you doing, Monster Kid? Why are you? Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Well, that's good, considering I haven't killed anyone. Oh, I thought that was like a cutscene or something. It looked cool. What's it doing, Monster Kid? I can't talk to you. Okay. Where are you going? It's a neat castle. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. But Monster Kid, I can help you up. Okay. The humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Ha! You all died! 
In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Spooky. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Ba, 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 da, na, na. Ba, ba, na, ba, da, ba, da, da. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hi, Undyne. Not entirely sure where I'm going. Her attacks are getting faster. Easy enough. Oh. No. Oh no. The dead end. I'm not getting attacked anymore. Except now Undyne's right in my face. Oh no. Well, geez, rude. It sounds like you came from over there. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Ah, oh, excuse me. Jimmy, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... How oh, convenient. It's a garbage pile. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Okay. Waterfall here it seems to flow from the ceiling to the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless ab and fall into the bottomless abyss below, viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage. It fills you with determination. It's only been like 13 minutes, so I'm going to continue. Rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Yeah. I like food. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Is that astronaut food any good? It's 21 HP. Yeah, that's good. That'll full heal me. Ah! Ha ha ha! It's just like you to run away. I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, it spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Mad dummy blocks away. Defense, yes. Because her ghost physical attacks will fail. Wow, really? Defense, yes. <laughs> pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Oh. Ow. You dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about magic. That dummy is looking nervous. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy about this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Eh. 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 That dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. 
I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Eh. 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 Mad dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. What does that even mean? Oh, I can die. Bicycle. Then everything I want will be mine. He's doing an armless ska dance. Still, okay. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Madame is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Oh, that's rude. What was her name again? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Guys, oh, dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. You're fired. You're all being replaced. Ha 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 ha! Now you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Dummy bots, magic missile. Ow. Uh. Dummy bots, try again. Oh, jeez. I like a coding still. Dummy bots, you're awful. Eh. Eh. Oh no. 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 <laughs> Ice cream. Dummy bots, final attack. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. That's a knife. I've got knives. I'm out of knives, but it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever. Forever! <laughs> oh, what? What the heck is this? Err. Acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Okay. Oh, hi. Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? Uh, as soon as I came over here, a friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy, it's fine. No worries, just thought I'd offer. Okay. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, I think that'll be all for this episode. Running about 20 minute episodes, I figure. You know, that's a decent chunk. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.